Good afternoon, folks. On the heels of us featuring one of the world's top researchers in the magnetic pole shift, today we're going to see one of the kings of solar forcing science. His name is Dr. Paul Prickrell, and he has picked up the pace in recent years as at least half of the original researchers in this field began to retire. I first became aware of him back in 2016, when he published an outstanding paper on solar wind amplification and rapid explosive intensification of tropical cyclones. It was one of several key papers confirming the link between the sun and tropical storms in the middle of the last decade. Then, he dove deep into details, describing why the lower atmosphere, where we live and experience weather, was impacted by space weather in ways that are still not included in climate models today. This includes the global electric circuit impact. A year later, he took that mechanism and applied it to the tropical storms again, confirming the previous statistical relationship and explaining why it was so robust of a connection. He then focused more on that mechanism and how it affects clouds, specifically the occurrence of major precipitation events. He published this one in 2021, another in 2021, which took the statistics to another level beyond any doubt, and then another in 2023, both demonstrating once again not only the correlation, but how this electrodynamic coupling works from the sun all the way down to the ground. And then this morning we shared his latest, an outstanding work that appears to combine his previous coverage of tropical storms, severe weather, floods, snowstorms, and overall extreme weather to these same space weather events. But now, he has revealed that the auroral energy waves are also playing a role. This was the critical missing piece, since only about half of the mid to low latitude forcing could otherwise be explained using direct geomagnetic excitement. It wasn't the first time we've seen this concept that the auroral energy spreading towards the equator indirectly helped amplify the sun's effect through the global electric circuit and the impact on the jet streams. Again, to this day, despite now several hundred studies being published on this topic, the solar forcing and specifically the impact through the global electric circuit remains ignored in the mainstream. It is a heinous fraud of science still left unchecked. Subscribe here for daily updates and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe everyone.